the uh, uh, I did miss a, a little bit earlier the, when the public libraries did not necessarily want to be able to have the CD but uh, there was a book uh, called Open Office uh, it's Open Office Resource Kit by Solvay Hoffland and then there's this, a CD in the back and if uh, a book with a CD can be lent out in the library then why not just the CD itself if it's the same thing and if open office CD is allowed to be lent out because they never libraries were although they might lend out music CDs or videos they never ever lent out software because they always thought that it was illegal to do so but this with open source software because it is legal to copy them then they can and that so this was something new that the libraries were having to to deal with or, or learn and understand and it's they're, they're, they're starting to understand it so all I did was take the CD which was the the equivalent CD that was in Solvay's book and just wrap it up in a way that librarians could actually use just as a, a lending CD for itself and hopefully if we get if they accept that then there's the open office CD then there's another CD which is called the open CD which has open office and uh, an open source web browser Mozilla uh, uh, a drawing package package called the GIMP and lots of other ones which are available for Windows uh, or uh, there's a really nice one called Free Duck, which is actually sponsored by uh, UNESCO and uh, UNICEF, and that's an educational package for kids. That would be an excellent thing to have in libraries too. I've travelled quite. A, uh, it's it's important for. Um, for like the the world to have access to uh, open source software uh, for many different reasons, uh, there are just many places that just um, can't afford to buy uh, to buy software. If we look at, uh, say, for example, uh, we take the Microsoft uh, Microsoft Office product, which costs. The, the professional version costs about £400 uh, here in Britain, something like that. Um, that's, you know, nine months' wages in some countries, uh, easily. Um, would you want to spend nine months of your wages on one piece of software? No, you wouldn't. The, but it's important to be able to have the facility to be able to use uh, to use software to start changing your environment creating a community on the things that you're interested in because an access to knowledge access to it might not necessarily be knowledge from another country but access to knowledge in your local area with guidance from other places uh, is so beneficial and we've got such great problems that we've got uh, throughout the world. We've got to be able to solve them. And uh, the control of information, control of freedom of speech, freedom of education, cannot be left in the hands of uh, one, two, or even three companies. It's got to be uh, spread throughout uh, throughout the world. And we should all share that. If it can be shared, we should all share that. We need to share that. Uh, I, think that I don't know if I answered that right. Let's talk about.